The amount of my first YouTube check was. I fuck with Shawty cause she bought a business, ayy. She independent and she on a mission, ayy. Been through some shit, but now it's better living, ayy. What's up, Flavor Squad? It's your girl, Fashion. It's your here to give you all the flavor. If you are new here, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you subscribe, and make sure you comment down below. Hashtag Flavor Squad. If you are not new here, I thank you so much for coming back to my channel. So today we're going to be getting into some YouTube tips from me. And we're also going to talk about how much my first YouTube check was. But we're going to talk about that at the end of the video. So you got to watch the whole video to get that information you want to know. I suggest you get your pen, you get your paper. Everybody should have a YouTube notebook. So get your YouTube notebook so that you can write these tips down and you can implement them on your channel so that you can work towards being monetized yourself. So we might as well make that tip number one. Make sure that you have a YouTube notebook or a notebook where you can jot down your ideas, anything you might come across because every day you might come across something that can give you a video idea. Every day I'm at work, I'm just sitting there working and I just think of something and I need to write it down and I'll write it down, put it in my phone, in my notes, and then I'll take it back home and put it into my YouTube notebook. Just so you have a place where you have all your ideas, all your thoughts in one spot. So that's tip number one. Tip number two when getting started with YouTube is to choose a niche. A niche is basically your specialized thing, the thing that you do, your thing. You want to find yourself a niche. It seems as though channels with a niche grow faster because the people who subscribe to you know that they can come to you for this type of video. Or they can come to you to learn this type of thing. Tip number three is to research your niche. You want to make sure that you are knowledgeable in your niche because people can tell when you don't know anything about what you're talking about. Let's say I would subscribe to someone for financial knowledge and they're telling me telling me about taxes credit and all of that I can tell when you don't know what you're talking about because you're gonna be giving me sporadic information you're gonna be giving me small information you're not gonna be going into depth about what you're talking about so you want to make sure that you research your niche even if you are knowledgeable of that niche like I'm knowledgeable of fashion but I don't know everything so I still feel like you should Research your niche to learn more. There's always something else to learn. There's always something else that you can bring to your subscribers. Tip number four is to have good thumbnails and good channel art. Good thumbnails and good channel art are very important because people see your thumbnail first and that's what makes them want to click your video. You wanna also make sure that your thumbnails and your channel art is consistent. Like one day you can't have no emojis, no color, no nothing. And then the next day you wanna add all the colors in the world. It just confuses the person like, okay, say for instance, now I have started doing my thumbnails pink and white so when you see a video from me you know that the words on the thumbnail will be pink and white so if they're suggesting videos from me you know that oh this is another one of her videos because the text in the thumbnail is pink and white but if I decided one day to switch the color and make it red and green you won't know that that video is from me like if you wanted to support all of my videos you won't know that that video is necessarily from me unless you see my face in the thumbnail so you want to make sure that your thumbnails and your channel art is consistent throughout your channel just so people know that that video is from you and that this next video is also from you I guess I can give you guys what apps I use to create my thumbnails and my channel art so when I'm not using my computer when I'm using my computer I'm using Adobe Illustrator but when I'm not using my computer I use Fonto, PixArt, and Superimpose X those are the main three apps that I use to create my thumbnails and channel art I also use the eraser app as well when I need to get rid of a white background or a black background or anything in the background. I can use that as well. But you can also remove backgrounds with Superimpose X. So I'll put those in the description below so you can have them. Tip number five is popular videos in your niche. And I wanted to say popular videos in your niche because if you are making popular videos, yes, you will get the views. Yes, you will get subscribers. But those subscribers will be kind of like ghost followers. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
wrong. They're not really interested in what you're doing on your channel. They probably saw your video, thought it was really good, and was like, okay, I'm gonna subscribe to her. Because that's kind of what happened to me on my channel. I posted a popular video, which was in my niche. I do DIYs as well. So it was in my niche, but all of those subscribers aren't necessarily into the main niche that I have, which is fashion. I wanna make sure that you are doing popular videos when you see something popping and you know that this has something to do with your channel do it don't be afraid to just put your video out there also you want to just look around and see what people in your niche are posting about maybe you don't know about the latest trend or you don't know about what's popping right now so that goes back into researching your niche just make sure you're on top of things about whatever your channel is about popular videos can definitely bring you subscribers it can definitely bring you watch time i have literally saw it on my channel myself and it definitely makes a difference so make sure you are researching your niche and coming up with popular videos to do or hopping on those popular video trains to do on your channel tip number six is to have enticing titles enticing titles are titles that will make a person be like what huh it's gonna itch it's gonna catch their interest it's gonna make them click your video and make them want to watch you want to stay away from clickbait because they can really annoy your subscribers and they might unsubscribe from you so I want to say just keep them enticing like if I'm going shopping and we see a deer or something i'll be like oh my god i can't believe we saw that and people will be like saw what so they're gonna click your video to find out what you saw even if it is something small you can make that big in your title you just want to be smart about your title because that's this that's probably the second thing that people see unless they're getting notifications and that's the first thing they see so you want to make sure that you're grabbing your subscribers attention and grabbing potential new subscribers attention tip number seven is to join support groups there are a lot of groups on Facebook there are also groups on Instagram that you can join and people will watch your videos and you watch their videos and you guys can just you know feed off of each other and share watch time you also can join support groups to gain subscribers you guys actually can subscribe to them and they subscribe to you they watch your video if they like it they can subscribe to you if you watch theirs and you like it you can subscribe to them I don't suggest just doing the whole sub for sub period thing like the sub for sub sub for sub because YouTube sees that and they take your subscribers away if your subscribers are inactive so if that person just subscribed to you and didn't watch anything and you you keep getting so many in one day they'll notice that and they'll take the subscribe you'll think somebody is unsubscribing to you well, really, they're not unsubscribing to you. YouTube just sees it as spam. But support groups are very helpful in growing your YouTube channel, especially in the beginning when you haven't reached your benchmarks of 4,000 watch hours and 1,000 subscribers. That can really help you gain everything that you need to become monetized. You want to make sure that you are joining legit support groups, not people that are just trying to feed off you or people that are just trying to make you do things and you're not getting anything out of it. You want to make sure that you both are equally giving each other something in that situation. Tip number eight is to market and advertise yourself. Market yourself on all of your social media platforms. Don't think about how people are going to be so annoyed of seeing you post this over and over again. Oh well. There might be a new friend you got on Facebook that doesn't know about you having a YouTube channel and if you're not posting then who's going to post? You have to make sure that you're looking out for you and making sure that people actually see you on the platform. They know that you're there. They know that you're going to have a video today. So they're looking for you to post anyway. So make sure you're posting on all your social media platforms. Use the different tools that each social media platform has. Such as Instagram, you can ask your subscribers to vote. Have you watched this video yet? Yes or no? Or yes, not yet. Engage your subscribers. Engage your following with your channel. You can also send your videos to your family or friends or send something to post about your channel so that they can post for you or help you share your channel. This just gets your name out there a little more and get your name in front of different groups of people because just because you posted on your channel that's not enough because now they're going to see it all the time. 
get your friends to post because they have different friend groups they have different groups of people that may be interested in what you're doing on your channel tip number nine is consistency with all of these tips without this tip your channel will probably not grow it will probably be nothing very soon you have to be consistent you have to post on a consistent basis most people give their subscribers certain days that they post so their subscribers can know okay on monday i should be expecting a video from so and so on tuesday i should be i should be expecting a video from so and so and that just keeps them in the loop that keeps them on your channel and keeps them coming back to watch more videos consistency is also noticed by youtube if you are consistent youtube will share your videos more they will have your videos in the lineup more but if you are not consistent youtube's algorithm will forget you everybody struggles with consistency especially when you're first starting off i struggle with consistency as well i just came back from like a month of not posting videos but you know things happen life happens like you just want to make sure when you come back you come back hard you come back with videos to post you come back with energy you come back with fire information just don't let the people forget you and even while you're not posting you can still share your older videos you can still share that your channel is still there just to let people know that my channel hasn't gone anywhere i haven't gone anywhere life is just happening so you want to make sure you stay consistent and you also want to stay consistent on your social medias as well when sharing your videos when sharing your posts just make sure that you're being consistent there as well consistently driving people to your channel while consistently posting on your channel i feel as though having certain days where you record and certain days where you edit and certain days where you post really helps with consistency because it drills that into your mind that you have these certain things to do on certain days and it becomes routine for you so if it becomes routine for you that consistency would definitely be there tip number 10 a very 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 important tip is to revisit and remember your why remember why you started your youtube channel remember why you are here on this platform what you want to do with this platform what you want this platform to do for you because yes we are here to give people information but the truth is we're all here to make money eventually so we all eventually want to get monetized. So always come back and remember why you started. It might not even be for money. You might get, you might have gotten started just to give people this information. And the money might be just a side thing for you and that's okay. But most people are starting YouTubes to get monetized. Just always remember, revisit your why. If you have this grand thing you want to buy when you finally get monetized, like, I, if, okay, if you don't have a camera yet, but you know when you get monetized, you want to get a camera, keep a picture of that camera. Keep something posted about that camera. Keep researching that camera so that you can manifest it and you can bring that into light. And that'll also keep you motivated to post videos on your channel. So always remember your why. Always remember why you started. Always revisit it. That's a big thing to keep you motivated because sometimes you do lose motivation. But seeing that and remembering that will keep you motivated to continue posting your videos. Okay, 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 okay. Now let's get into some other good stuff that you want to know. How much was my first YouTube check? Hmm, so I got monetized on YouTube. Well, that process after meeting my benchmarks, they sent me an email like the next day. So it didn't take long to get that email. And um, I was able to apply for YouTube Partner Program. So I am now a YouTube partner and I am now monetized on YouTube. That whole process maybe took about a week for me. Once I applied, they approved me. I'll say like the next, I'm gonna say the end of the day because I really think it was that night I got approved after applying and they have to send you a little code just to verify your address so i got that code that week of me applying and once you put that code in you're good you just have to make your money now and reach the hundred dollar benchmark because if you don't reach a hundred dollars they're not going to send you a check for that month the video that got me monetized is my keychain video so if you haven't seen that i will link that above for you so i actually had quite a bit of views on that video when i got monetized so i didn't get monetized for 100k views but i did get monetized like when those views were going up and popping so the amount of my first youtube check 
was $246.54. That's how much I made once I was monetized on YouTube. Yeah, it was really exciting. I was super happy about getting monetized. I was happy about the views, the subscribers. I was just so excited. The process really didn't take that long. I think YouTube is getting better on getting those applications out quicker. So yeah, that's how much my first YouTube check was. Now, you know, it's just up from here. We just running it up. We just running it up out here, girl. I hope these YouTube tips helped you in some way. I hope that you wrote them down and I hope that you implement them on your channel. Do not, do not, do not just come out here all willy nilly. You gotta have you some guidance, okay? Get you some guidance. I'm here to help guide you guys to get where I am and beyond where I am, okay? So make sure you guys hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. Yeah, that's all I have for you guys. So may your curls pop and your grind never stop, Flavor Squad. I'm out of here.